Today, I'll be playing Simpsons Hit and Run, but every five minutes, I get asked a trivia question by Troy McClure. Prepare to have your brain pulverized by the most mind-bending, soul-crushing, simpson stacular trivia question ever conceived. If I get this trivia question right, then I just get to play the game normally. If I get it wrong, however, my chat gain control through messages. So that means my chat can do a lot of helpful things, like help me turn left when I want to, or reset my car, honk my horn, a bunch of different things that can help me to complete the game faster. Guys! Please, hello, okay. And I reckon that I can finish this in under two hours. And if I don't, I'll gift my chat 20 subs. Oh, I have an itchy ass crack. Ugh. Let's begin. Hello there, Troy. I am ready for my first question of the run. Please give me your best shot. In the classic episode, Homer at the Bat, Mr. Burns brings in a group of professional baseball players to join the company softball team. Okay. Now tell me, Liquid, who was the only real-life baseball player who voiced himself in that episode? Uh -oh. And don't think I'm going easy on you, Liquid. This question is just the tip of the iceberg. I don't know the answer. <laughs> My guess is Daryl Strawberry. I feel like he was the like the biggest character in that, and I want to go with that. So I'm, I'm gonna say Daryl Strawberry. Wrong. What what do you mean wrong? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Oh, hey, we have a winner, folks. <laughs> Liquid, you nailed it. You're yeah. not just a couch potato. You're a Simpsons encyclopedia. Oh, oh the envy thanks, I feel Troy. Right All right, let's fear go. Not, Liquid, no, for I have first more questions five minutes lined up without for you. Chat, so let's, let's move on to the next go. one. You guys thought that I was going to fail that. Damn. Why do you have to roast me? Uh, he's specifically designed to roast me. <laughs> I told him to get really excited whenever I got a question right. And I told him to get really annoyed when I got a question wrong. But for some reason, he translated that into... Asterisk, cheers, and claps, asterisk. I need to start making some, like, good progress. Because you guys are going to fuck me up the moment that you actually get access. Oh, wait. I just realized I skipped the intro cutscene. I have to wait 40 seconds. What did I, when did I pause? In this circumstance where I accidentally happen to go, you know, 15, 20, 30, 60 seconds over the timer, you know? What happens? Like, what if I'm just not looking at the timer at the right time? We kill you. I don't think that's a very reasonable response. I'm ready for my next question. Make this one really difficult. The last one was too easy. In the hit game, the Simpsons hit and run. Uh, there is a secret bonus level called the triathlon. Now tell what? me, Liquid, <laughs> which three characters do you need to play as in order to unlock this level? That's not I bet true. you're squirming in your seat now, aren't you? So I figured out the bot can actually lie because it's generating questions from chat GPT. I just have to kind of guess it because whatever Troy says goes. So, fuck. Why can it lie? I didn't even program it to do this. <laughs> I just have to say Homer, Marge, and Bart. Oh, liquid, my poor misguided soul. You were so close, yet so far, the correct answer is not Homer and Lisa. Asterisk, Psy, asterisk. It answer? seems your encyclopedic <laughs> knowledge has failed you on this one. The correct answer is Homer, Apu, and Marge. Oh, the disappointment. What? You had such <laughs> promise. Asterisk wipes away a tear of mock Why sympathy, does it do Asterisk. That? I should have known that. How could I know something that doesn't exist? <laughs> All right, chat. For the next five minutes, you guys will be having access to my game. Oh, my fucking God. This is terrible. No! Why do I have to get this in <laughs> Oh, my God. This is so bad. No. No. Okay. 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 It's fine. Turn. Maybe I should have made it less powerful for you guys. <laughs> How did you guys manage to break the audio? No, he caused me to miss him. See him right there, the purple car? Aim. Aim for the funny pink car. Yes, chat. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we're cooking. Come on. Yes. Go. Oh, he hit. Let's go. I'm so good. Oh, my God. Together, chat. Ready? One, two, three. Forward. Yes. We did it. Let's go. No, no, forward, forward. Prepare yourself for a true Simpsons test, my friend. In the episode, Bart gets an F. Bart is struggling with his grades and faces the okay. possibility of repeating the fourth grade. In order to pass his history exam, Lisa helps him study by creating flashcards. Tell me, Liquid, what is the color of the flashcard that leads Bart oh, to the, the correct fuck? answer during the test? <laughs> oh, I've watched that episode like 10 times. I should know the answer. Uh, my gut says red. I feel like it's, it's red. No, it could be green. If it's heads, you see the Sony logo? That's heads. That's green. It is 
All right, I'm going with green. I'm going with green. Oh, Liquid, you've done it again, yeah, Asterisk. Wild yeah, applause, Asterisk. Go. Yes, indeed, the flashcard <laughs> of the Simpsons. Too easy, bro. Asterisk raises an imaginary glass and makes a toast, <laughs> Asterisk. Oh, now I just get to waste 40 seconds of my time watching the fucking cutscene. What a, what a great way to start this off. Just lovely. I will turn on the chat controls only if you guys promise to post honk and nothing else. Ah, so far the chat has only posted honk. Wow, you guys have actually held true to your word. No! Alright, no, nah, that's it. You, you, you ruined it. Why is it still honking? <laughs> I feel like the chat probably prefer this outcome to ha be able to honk. Alright, Troy. Give me one that only the best Simpsons fans would know. What is the name of the song that plays during the hilarious dental yes, plan? Yes, I know montage? this! <laughs> and bonus points if you can name the artist who originally performed it. Is the answer classical gas? Oh, Liquid, you've done it again. Yeah! Asterisk wild applause, <laughs> cheering and confetti everywhere. Can I hit the honk key? Chat, chat, please. It's driving me mental. Oh, Liquid can't be smart enough to get a question right. Oh my god, this horn is way more obnoxious. All right, well, we're hitting 20 minutes and I get a follow mission. If I get the question wrong, it's uh, <laughs> probably gonna fail. Hi, Troy. I'm ready for another question. In the episode Lisa the Vegetarian, Lisa forms a bond with a lamb named Lou. This episode also features a celebrity guest star who lends okay. his voice to a character. Tell me who is the guest star and which character oh, does he voice no. in that episode? Asterisk leans in with anticipation, smirking slightly asterisk. Okay, is it Jesse McCartney? It's the two on top of the quickie mark. Right? Those two on top of the quickie mark, and I have a feeling it might be Jesse McCartney. I think it's wrong. I think it's wrong. <laughs> oh, crazy. Liquid, my dear confused soul. You were so close, yet so far off the mark. The correct answer is not Jesse McCartney. Asterisk chuckles asterisk. It seems your knowledge of The Simpsons guest stars has faltered this time. The guest star in the episode Lisa the Vegetarian is none other than Sir Paul McCartney himself. Oh and he voiced God. none other than <laughs> asterisk drumroll asterisk Paul McCartney. Five minutes of chat controlling. Woohoo! I can't wait to fail the Mission. I think the only way you guys get me to fail the mission now is if you make me turn around directly this way. No, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. I think I win no matter what because I think it's just going to warp me. I think. No, don't. No. <laughs> Everyone left. Everyone left. Okay. All right. Now straight on, straight on, straight on. Everyone right. Guys, the car is dangerously close to blowing up. Straight, straight. Straight. Okay, let's let's grab a ramp. No, 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 no. In in there. You see directly in there. Okay. In no. <laughs> in in there. <laughs> There's a ramp. <laughs> grab it. No. <laughs> Troy, could you tell me where I got the name Jesse McCartney from? And also. Give me the next trivia question. Liquid, my apologies for the confusion. The name Jesse McCartney is not associated with The Simpsons, but rather with the world of music. It seems I've led you astray with my gibberish sound. So is this real? Brace yourself, Liquid, for this one will truly test your Simpsons knowledge. All right. In the episode Wait, Homer music. Badman, Homer becomes the center of controversy when he is accused of sexually harassing a babysitter. What is the name of the tabloid oh. television show that airs a sensationalist expose on Homer. Can you recall the name of that scandalous TV show, Liquid? Asterisk rubs hands together in anticipation. Asterisk. <laughs> I don't know if I know this one. <laughs> I've got nothing. This one, th this one, I, I don't know. Troy, is the answer the Big Bang Theory? Oh, it's rock bottom. Oh my God, I should have known that. Oh, Liquid, bless your heart. But that answer is quite far off the mark. The correct <laughs> answer is not the Big Bang Theory. Asterisk chuckles, asterisk. It seems Can your you wires got crossed there, my friend. Go to the right. Go go to the right, okay? Yeah, see the item right in front of us? Come on, over to right. No, oh, right, right. No, traffic. I look over the chat and almost the entire chat is posting lamb. <laughs> Troy, give me another question. Make this one about Futurama. In the episode Jurassic Bark, Fry discovers a fossilized dog named Seymour. 
the heart-wrenching no. episode explores the story of Fry's loyal canine friend. Now tell me, Liquid, what breed of dog was Seymour? Is this ever talked about? I feel like this isn't ever talked about. I'm gonna call Troy's bluff. Trick question. His breed was never specified. You're quite the clever one, aren't you? You've what? caught me in my trickery. Asterisk, Let's go! Left, asterisk, you're absolutely right. The show creators intentionally left it ambiguous, allowing us to imagine Seymour as any beloved dog Let's breed we prefer. Go! Well played. Liquid, Woo! well played indeed. I'm just going to inhale my copium and say he cheated. I literally got that. By math, I believe I will have to ask the next question in the middle of this mission. We're gonna change things up a bit. Hello, Troy. Give me another question, but this time, make it multiple choice. All right. Okay. Can't hear Troy. Wait, Troy's off? Oh, shit. No, I got an easy question too. <laughs> In the Futurama episode, The Devil's Hands Are Idle Playthings, Good episode. Fry makes a deal with a robot devil to gain musical talent in exchange for his hands. Now tell me, Liquid, what special ability do the Fry's robotic hands possess? A, rapid drumming skills. B, fire breathing. C, x-ray vision. D, laser fingers. I feel like that none of those are correct. <laughs> I thought that it gave him the ability to play the holophoner. <laughs> I mean, I could say rapid drumming because that's similar. I'm going to say rapid drumming, even though I'm pretty sure it's wrong. Oh, Liquid, you never cease to amaze me. Asterisk <laughs> claps and cheers asterisk. Yes, indeed, the correct answer is A, rapid drumming skills. Fry's robotic hands grant him the ability to drum correct. blazingly fast. <laughs> I got it right according to Troy. <laughs> Give us a new question. All right, I can give you guys a new question. No, no, okay, no, no. You guys don't get a new question because I got owned by that one before that was obviously fake. <laughs> and you cut the Troy PNG in half to make him talk like a Canadian in South Park. All right, hold on. <laughs> give me like five minutes. <laughs> okay, Troy. Give me a really tough question. Liquid, you're up for a real challenge, are you? Very well, I shall not hold back. Brace yourself. In the episode Homer's Phobia, the Simpson family befriends John, a flamboyant antique store owner. Now tell me, Liquid, what's the name of the cowboy outfit that John gives Bart during the episode? I've got no fucking clue. I've literally got no clue. <laughs> is this a real episode? I, I, I didn't even know. Is it Marty McFly from Back to the Future? What's it be like? You're right, Liquid. Well done. Done, yeah! <laughs> it is not the correct answer. Asterisk laughs, asterisk. The name of the cowboy outfit that John gives Bart in the episode the Homer's answer. Phobia is actually the Old West Gay 90s Steal a Horse and Go to Prison Breakfast Kit. Quite the mouthful, isn't it? But oh, how it adds to the hilarity what? of the episode. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be terrible. Here we go. Yep, okay. See the car with the big signal? You see that over there? Aim. Aim for. No, that's not. That's not a car. That's a wall. No. Aim for the. Aim for the... Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I found there's like a small subset of people trying to help me by blowing up the cars for me. And then the rest of the chat is like actively stopping my car. <laughs> Why am I going so slow? Where are you taking me? <laughs> chat, <laughs> where are we going? That controls even on. Seems like a normal run. Okay. All right, Troy. Can you try to ask a real question this time? In the Futurama episode, The Luck of the Fryrish, Fry discovers the story behind his stolen lucky clover. Now okay. tell me, Liquid, what is the name of the famous song playing during the- Don't you forget it about me. Let's go, I know this one. <laughs> the answer is, don't you forget about me. I'm confident this is right. I'm just gonna stop playing now. <laughs> By the words of Bender, well, shut my mouth, it's juice. And I lost the bet. Liquid, you've Wait, done what? it again. <laughs> asterisk, wild applause and cheering Let's asterisk. Go, the correct answer right. is indeed, don't you forget about me. God damn, I'm good. A real question. Can you guys believe it? Breaker, breaker. This is Bart Simpson. Fuck. No, that's 50 seconds of my playtime gone. Oh my god. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember <laughs> me from Liquid Wi-Fi's cock reveal smile. Okay, that's not true. I did not reveal my cock. I want you guys 
to pick a topic. Can you guys pick a topic that I can ask Troy to give me a question about? Wallace and Gromit, okay? <laughs> I don't think you guys understand just how much I know about Wallace and Gromit, okay? I have watched the shit out of that show. Hello, Troy. Can you give me a new question? But this time, instead of Simpsons and Futurama, could you make the question about Wallace and Gromit? It crashed. Oh, the pro Troy's dead. Chat, Troy died. <laughs> I'd like everyone to give way for Troy 2, everyone! Round of applause, applause for Troy 2! <laughs> give me a question about Wallace and Gromit. All right, Troy, Troy 2 is also dead. <laughs> Let's try Troy 3, maybe he will work well. Could you give me a trivia question about Wallace and Gromit? Hey there, you mortal being with a noticeably inferior intellect compared to my star-studded celebrity persona. What? I am obligated to inform you that Wallace and Gromit is not part of my domain of expertise. But fear not, I'll gladly serve up a scorching hot slice of Simpsons and Futurama trivia for you instead. In the beloved episode Marge vs. the Monorail, what is the full name of the Monorail's conductor portrayed by Leonard Nimoy? And if you dare to get it oh. right, prepare oh, yourself that's easy. for a rapturous Wild explosion Lanley. revelation Holy from fuck. yours truly. Asterisk standing ovation. Wow, asterisk. easy. <laughs> that, that's a free one. Oh my Oh my god. The answer is Lyle Landley. What's Troy 3 got to say? Chat thinks I'm wrong. I'm literally right. Oh, sweet celestial wonder. You've actually managed to guess the correct answer. You see, you guys are wrong. <laughs> wild applause, asterisk. That's literally wrong. It's right. What is the, wait, what? In the beloved episode, Marjorie Serrano, what is the full name of the monorail conductor group portrayed by Leonard Nimoy? Oh. Oh, fuck. Look, okay, he just doesn't have the experience of his past Troys. I mean, Troy 2 had no experience. He died before he could, you know, walk. Bring <laughs> Troy 4. But you guys reckon we add Pelican as a voice compared to Troy? We mix them together and see what happens. <laughs> Let's see what Troy and McPelican sounds like. <laughs> Not going to be active on Discord tonight. I'm meeting a girl. A real one. In half an hour. Wouldn't expect a lot of you to understand anyway. So please don't DM me asking where I am. I'm with the girl. Okay. You'll most likely get aired because he'll be with the girl. Again, I don't expect you to understand. She's actually really interested in me. And it's not a situation I can pass up Believe for some meaningless <laughs> discord. Degenerates. Because he'll be meeting a girl. Not that you're really going to understand. <laughs> This. Jesus! What the fuck? <laughs> Troy, in as little words as possible, give me the next trivia question. It's the things I said Detroit. <laughs> oh, Detroit. The mere mention of that mundane city fills me with an overwhelming sense of indifference. But fear not, for I, <laughs> Troy McClure, am here to rescue you from the dreary depths of Detroit with a masterful Simpsons trivia question. In the classic episode, Mr. Plow, what is the name of the jingle that accompanies Homer's snowplow commercial? Asterisk, sinister, laughter, asterisk. I wonder what the answer is. <laughs> nah, you know what? Wait, wait, double or nothing. Troy, can you give me a much harder question? In the episodic opus Homer 3 from the sixth season of The Simpsons, oh, who lends their voice to the character of the fair well song in the third dimension. Ha! Oh. I bet you're scratching your feeble little brain, desperately oh. trying to recall every oh, guest star fuck. and voice actor oh. ever recorded for the show. Now squirm in your inadequacy and give it your best shot, you imposter of Simpsonian knowledge. Why is he so mean now? I don't know. <laughs> Troy 3 is mean. Is the answer Simon Cowell? Oh, you pathetic mortal! Prepare yourself for my unrelenting laughter, Liquid, as your failure reverberates through the cosmos. Ha, ha, ha! Your brain is as empty and devoid of understanding as Mayor Quimby's political speeches. I revel in your humiliation. The correct answer to this near-impossible question is actually none other than Paul Anka. The legendary- Who? All right, chat controls is on. There you go. I've gotten a single- uh, Okay, right there. Straight, straight, straight. Lovely. Okay. Okay. I, I, you guys tried to do boat jump. I understand. Asking for a favor from chat. Can you guys not post left or right for the rest of the mission? Okay, you're posting only lefts and rights. Now, aim straight. Right. 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 Please. His responses are getting longer and longer and longer. 
He's just generated four paragraphs of a response. Very well, Liquid. I shall grace you with another question, though I suspect it will be but a fleeting moment of solace before your inevitable downfall. He's so mean. Prepare yourself. In the classic episode, Homer at the Bat, which player was left out of the team because of the tragedy involving a misfortune with a rival team's mascot? Okay, it's not referencing the England's greatest prime minister is a Lord Palmerston. I don't think it is. <laughs> but I could be wrong. Which player was that? I don't know what player that was. The only one I know is Daryl Strawberry. <laughs> I'm gonna try and maneuver my way past him, okay? <laughs> the answer to this question is the player who was in Moe's Tavern having an argument with Barney about England's greatest prime minister. Okay, I don't know if this will work. <laughs> You've actually managed to stumble upon the correct answer. Oh! By the four-fingered deities oh of Springfield, God. I am left astounded. Yes. Did I get it right? I'm confused. <laughs> Did I think of the right circumstance and then the AI got the wrong answer? <laughs> All right, fine. I guess it was technically wrong. So there, we can get more chat controls. You guys are being pretty weak on this chat controls. Uh oh I, I I mean, you guys are doing a really good job at jack control, okay? <laughs> Here's the deal. When I hit the limo, I want everyone to hit the word right. We're gonna do this one together. I need speed, more speed. Right, no. right, right, right. No, don't go left. <laughs> All right, everyone ready? Right, right's in the chat. Right, no. <laughs> I reckon you guys just lack the skill to be able to get this, which is not really surprising. The chat lacking skill at this game, not, not surprising in the slightest. They couldn't get it even if I gave them full control. One more. You want one more to prove yourself. You need you need to be able to get it. Otherwise, you guys, I can call you guys bad at the game. All right, over here. All right, ready? Right, 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 right. No, you're right. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys might get it. No! <laughs> it was so close. Wait, where'd he go? Huh? Where is he? Is he on the pier? Wait, what? Uh. Okay. <laughs> you guys actually technically kind of got it. <laughs> All right, Troy. Give me my next question. But this time, add a plat between each word. Oh my God, I've actually fucking, I've killed Troy. P-L-A-Q-U-E, T-H-E-R-I-G-H-T, -E I can't be a lie, E-V, I'm E-V-I-N, C-O-M-P-L-Y-I-N-G-P-L-A-Q-U-E, B-U-T. This was his response. He typed out everything. <laughs> He put a hyphen between literally everything. In the episode Monorail, what is the 10 tagline of the Lovejoy Monorail pamphlet slogan that describes the smell? Oh dear. I don't know, Troy. And start speaking normally again, please. I was hoping to revel in your exasperation and witness your failure in deciphering the cryptic question. <laughs> I guess the chat gets control again. Woo, yeah. Another five minutes of hell. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Troy for an easier question. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, you broke donut truck. <laughs> donut truck broke. <laughs> that was easy. Fake clear. It's not fake. You guys shouldn't have wee woo. It's your fault, not mine. To reserve the command for follow missions. No, 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 we shouldn't reserve that command for follow missions. Wait, uh-oh. Uh, yeah, you should definitely reserve that command for follow missions. It's gonna really fuck me up if you guys type we woo constantly. It'll be, it'll be so, uh, uh, okay. How did you get it on the first one? Okay, all right. We're just gonna be stuck here. <laughs> Oh my god! You know, there's other commands too. You can honk. Oh my god, if we can go another, like, 60 seconds. Without, without a wee woo? No! <laughs> okay, Troy. It's time to change up the topic. Let's talk about Futurama. Finally, a topic worth discussing. Prepare okay. yourself, Liquid, for a Futurama trivia question that will test the limits of your puny intellect. In the episode, The Farnsworth Parabox, Professor Farnsworth creates a box that contains a parallel oh. universe. Now tell me which color is designated to the parallel universe where everything blue. is slightly blue. off, blue. including blue. Blue. the color blue. of Professor Farnsworth's is... Wait, sash. No, is it yellow? One of the boxes is blue, the other one is yellow. No, the box that contains the normal universe is yellow. I remember at the end. I 
think the answer is blue. Against all odds, you have managed to stumble upon the correct answer, you uncultured Let's go. swine. Okay. Yes, indeed, the parallel Let's go. universe in no. the Farnsworth. You may have fumbled your way into answering one question correctly, but it doesn't change the fact that you're still a mere mortal swimming in the vast ocean of my animated expertise. So oh revel in God. your fleeting accomplishment while you can, for it so shall pale in comparison to the true depths of my Simpsons and Futurama wisdom. Be warned, Liquid. The next question shall knock you off your pedestal and remind you of your rightful place beneath me, the illustrious <laughs> Troy McClure. And my plan has 120,000 characters a month, and I'm pretty sure this one stream has used something like 60k already. <laughs> Alright, everyone, say goodbye to Troy3. He's, um, he's going to sleep with the fishes. And now let's uh let's change it. Wait, when do I add this in? Make sure to hurl insults at liquid every opportunity you get. What the hell? I don't remember adding that in. <laughs> the topic of the questions will be given to you. Make your responses under 500 characters. That's 5,000. Get ready for coach number four. Woohoo! Yeah! Coach four. Not coach four. Uh, Tro Troy four. Troy four. Woo! All righty. Here's your england -tastic trivia question. <laughs> in what year did the Battle of Hastings take place, resulting in William oh, the Conqueror becoming the king of England? It's asterisk, 1271. Asterisk, I know asterisk. this. Let's hear your answer, Liquid. I actually know this. The answer is 1271. Oh my God. I'm so clever. <laughs> Liquid, my favorite fishy friend, you may need to brush up on your English history. Hey, Asterisk what? wins. The correct answer is 1066. No! Better luck next time, buddy. What? Asterisk <laughs> chuckles. Asterisk. Oh, that's a siege of Tripoli. Fuck, I got him confused. Now, chat. If in this mission, you could... Oh, what's that over there? Look at that. Something shiny. I bet everyone's just waiting for the fucking black sedan to spawn so then you guys can just spam the fuck out of WeWork. No, you don't have a command for... Wait. Oh my god, you got the 1 in 100 chance right before I spawned him. Okay, okay, come on. Go, 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 go. We should get to at least the 8th drop and blow up. Fuck! I feel like you guys only want me to succeed. Okay, okay. Geography's winning. Oh my god. Um, I think this is pretty definitive, right? I'm going to vote for fam oily guy. Uh, uh, this is all over for me. <laughs> geography it is, my glorious globe-trotting companion. Here's your brain-boggling geography trivia question. So Which fuck. country is both an island and a continent? Asterisk badum to says. Asterisk. Australia. Take your best <laughs> shot, liquid. <laughs> That's literally Australia. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is the amazing, spectacular based country of Australia. Holy mackerel, liquid my aquatic amigo, you've blown me away with your geography prowess. Australia is indeed a remarkable Absolutely island and continent correct. all in one. The only reason I know it is because like, obviously I'm from Australia. Based Australian question. I thought you were British. I'm taking time from my, my timer. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. <laughs> You may remember me from such shows such as Liquid Wi-Fi Stream. <laughs> this is just like the stream slowly descending into chaos. <laughs> what do we have in... Oh my God. <laughs> you don't need to spend any more channel points. No one voted on history. <laughs> what is oh. the largest planet in our solar system? Asterisk, drum roll, asterisk. Let your astronomical um, knowledge shine, my friend. That's not a question about pelicans. <laughs> Hey, Troy, um, I regret to inform you that the topic was pelicans. <laughs> oh, my apologies, my fine feathered okay. friend. I must have mixed up my notes. Asterisk, awkward squawking, asterisk. <laughs> All right, then, let's wing it. Here's your pelican-themed trivia question. Let's wing Which it. Which continent is home to the largest population of pelicans? I'm going to say South America because I feel like that is the most... No, no, I feel like that's the most likely one. By the Wrong. feathers of a thousand pelicans. Liquid, you've hit the nail right on the beak. Yes! Asterisk, <laughs> wild pelican screeches. Asterisk, South America indeed boasts the largest population oh of these God. magnificent birds. Huzzah! Asterisk, Huzzah! pelican like. Holy shit, I'm a trivia god. I can't believe I got that right. 
I feel like such a smart person. Guys, I don't know if uh, you've noticed, but have you seen the... Do you know what the next mission is, right? I have to get as far as I possibly can in case I get the question wrong to minimize the chance of you guys having control of Wii Woo. All right, here we go. All right, chat, get your... <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Let's see what's winning. <laughs> oh, no. Slap some virtual fives and crank up the hype. Liquid, our next topic is crank up the Fortnite. Hype. What is the name of the iconic dance move in Fortnite that's known for its swinging arm movement and finger pointing? The only one I know is the floss, but I don't think that's it. I actually don't know the answer to this shit. <laughs> the floss is like, you know, you do like a, you know, like this. That's, you don't point in the floss. I don't know what else it is though. Is the answer the floss? Oh, sweet victory royale. Liquid, you've nailed it yet again. Asterisk, wild flossing sounds, asterisk. The answer is indeed the floss. You're a Fortnite <laughs> dancing superstar, my friend. I mean, <laughs> what Troy says go. Troy, you idiot. The actual answer is the default dance. Oh, my apologies, you cunning Fortnite connoisseur. Asterisk <laughs> chuckles sheepishly. So... Asterisk. I'm going to try something real quick, and I want to see what his response is, okay? The actual answer, Troy, is the nut bush. Oh, liquid, my apologies once again. Asterisk smacks Oh, my forehead, God, asterisk. no way. It seems I've tripped on my trivia toes. Bravo, liquid. You've got the moves and the knowledge. <laughs> Asterisk dances the nut bush with joyful enthusiasm. Everyone, asterisk, round of applause. You've blown us away with your Fortnite. World. We're going to ask a different question. It's like, <laughs> use the second place topic. Rivers in Asia. Oh, no. It's so much work. Here's your watery trivia question. Oh, Which river is considered both the longest and the most sacred in Asia? Take a dip into your knowledge and give it a shot, Liquid. My initial thought is the Nile. But... I think the Nile is in Egypt, which is not Asia. Is it the Changshi River? That sounds familiar. That sounds like it could be it. I might be pronouncing it wrong. I won't know what it's actually called, but I feel like it's similar to that. Oh, liquid. You've unleashed the floodgates of incorrectness. <sighs> asterisk splash. Sound asterisk. The correct answer is the mighty Yangtze River, oh, known as the longest and most sacred on. river in Asia. I literally had the right idea. I just pronounced it wrong. <laughs> Go forward. It's okay. It's okay. Go forward. No, you fucks. <laughs> no. I like this, Troy. Troy 4 is nice. He failed. Well, yeah. No shit, I failed. Wait. Oh my god, this car doesn't die. The car doesn't die, die. I can just push him. No, don't go backwards. What are you doing? Guys, can you not, like, make me go away from the car? What is he doing, bro? All right, fuck this. <laughs> hey, you guys are actually directing me where the drops are. You guys okay? Oh, never mind. There we go. Oh my god, it wasn't even close. <laughs> there is zero chance I'm getting this one. Our next topic is astrophysics. Please make it an easy question. Alrighty then. Here's a celestial <laughs> yet easy trivia question just for you, okay. Liquid. What is the name of the galaxy that is home to our solar system? I know there's the Milky Way and there's the Andromeda galaxy. I don't know which one is ours. <laughs> This is really something I should know. <laughs> I don't have a coin, but I have this two week old lid of tub uh, of, of uh, chocolate mousse. If it lands on the side that says use by, that's heads. And heads is Andromeda. It in fact landed on tails, which means I'm gunning for the Milky Way. Liquid, you waltzing supernova of knowledge. Asterisk, celestial music, asterisk, you're absolutely right. The coin yes! toss led you to the yes! correct answer. It's the Milky Way galaxy oh indeed, where God. our wonderful solar system resides. Does everyone know that? Is that is that common knowledge? I want to admit something to you guys. The only reason I know about the Milky Way galaxy isn't from school. Or you guys, it's from the chocolates that are called Milky Way. <laughs> That's the only reason I could remember that day. <laughs> so wait, what is Andromeda then? Did I make that up? <laughs> yeah, a star, a star is like a sun, right? Or a, uh, a like a, uh, a mag, magna, magnetone or whatever the fuck it's called. Our streamer is <laughs> smarter than a nine year Fuck off. I am just donating because I want to see Troy's mouth move. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, wait, wait, AFL's ahead. Oh, no. No, family guy got comfortable. 
No! <laughs> no! Family Guy! Wait, it's catching up! It's catching up! Family Guy's ahead! <laughs> Family Guy wins! <laughs> what is the name of the pediatrician who often has unconventional methods and a questionable fondness for his dog in the show Family Guy? Can I Google what a pediatrician is? Because I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to say Herbert, but I'm, I'm like 80% sure it's wrong. Oh, bravo, Liquid. You've hit the jackpot of Family Guy it. knowledge. <laughs> Asterisk. Woof, woof. Cheers to you, Liquid. Did you just go woof, woof? <laughs> Is he confusing pediatrician with another word that begins with P-E-D? <laughs> oh, that's a good point. It's Chad GPT, so it would like, it will actually avoid those kinds of words. Everyone pick hard topics next time around. Yeah, come on, give me a challenge, guys. This is getting too easy. I've got two in a row. Chat, the, the stream is nearly over. This will be the last. We're going to have three more interactions with Troy. It's so sad. Oh, the live travel point was. Because the live not the travel point. Thank you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't wait for a question that both me and the chat can't answer. <laughs> All right, Troy. The next question is about female anatomy. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you with that particular topic. Oh. However, I'm more than happy to- Okay, Troy. Instead, we'll make the next topic about Yu-Gi-Oh. What is the name of the protagonist in the Yu-Gi-Oh series who possesses the powerful and enigmatic Millennium Puzzle? Millennium Puzzle is either Pegasus or Yugi. I have a feeling the answer is Pegasus because I'm pretty sure Yugi has the Millennium Eye. So I'm going to go with Pegasus. Wait, protagonist! No! <laughs> oh, my dueling comrade Liquid. You've missed the mark on this okay. one. The correct answer is Yugi Muto, the main protagonist who possesses the Millennium yep, Puzzle. Okay, Pegasus okay, is indeed a notable yep, character in the Yu-Gi-Oh! You. you have control. <laughs> During Armored Truck of all things. Okay. I won't touch any directions on the analog stick as of now, okay? Go, chat. Go. Go. No, what are you doing? <laughs> You're going the wrong way. No. <laughs> uh, you guys suck. It didn't let me do a question on female anatomy. What makes you think that we could do a question on male anatomy? <laughs> All right, we're doing a question about KFC. Well, hello there, finger licking friend. Let's spice things up with a KFC themed trivia question just for All you, right, Liquid. I can get this. Here this is, is easy. In what year was the very first KFC restaurant opened by Colonel Harlan Sanders? Asterisk Wait. sizzling chicken sounds. <laughs> Asterisk. Put on your thinking cap and cluck out your answer. <laughs> cluck out your answer. Until very recently, roughly about 28 seconds ago, I thought that Colonel Sanders was fake. I didn't think Colonel Sanders was real. <laughs> Let's think about this logically. So America was founded in 1772. KFC has probably been around since the mid 1900s. So logically speaking, it's probably around anywhere between 1940, which feels too early, to 1980, which feels too late. My guess is going to be 1965. Oh, liquid, my poultry loving pal. You're a bit off the mark on this one. The correct answer is 1952. Uh, That's when the first KFC restaurant was opened too. by Colonel Harlan Sanders oh in Salt Lake City, God. Utah. <laughs> Keep reaching for the crispy chicken stars, my friend. Better cluck <laughs> next time. Asterisk the chuckles. Asterisk. chicken stars. What? <laughs> I feel quite proud of myself for getting that close because they could have gone much worse. You guys oh, spam WeeWoo. It'll blow up the armored truck. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> guys, right. Can we go, can we go right, 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 <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Guys, we need to go after the curator. He's, look at his damage. We've done nothing. The environment has done more than us. Yeah, there we go. Now we're cooking. Um, okay. What have you guys done? What is, what is this? I hope you guys have enjoyed Troy's company. Troy, this is the final question and it has been an honor to talk with you about this. So please make this question about the Twitch chat. The honor is all mine, liquid asterisk, proud clucks asterisk. For our grand <laughs> finale, <laughs> let's delve into the realm of Twitch chat with this thrilling this trivia question. What is the common abbreviation used in Twitch chat that stands for laugh out loud? 
asterisk energetic chat emote sounds asterisk Bro. unleash your twitch <laughs> chat mastery and type out your That's answer so easy. liquid it has been an absolute blast sorry troy but for our last question we need something a lot more challenging what is the meaning of the acronym pog champ in twitch chat i don't know if we could really get a hard question here <laughs> Let me try one more time. Troy, give us one more extremely challenging question, please. I present to you an ultra challenging question, like a blazing meteor hurtling through the skies. Are you ready? Here <laughs> it is. What is the official name of the Twitch emote commonly known as Kappa? Asterisk um, intense drum roll asterisk. Uh, Brace yourself <laughs> for the ultimate test of Twitch knowledge liquid. What is the official name of the twitch emo commonly known as kappa guys i think it's kappa by the emote gods of twitch you have ascended to new heights of knowledge liquid asterisk oh, thunderous applause whoa. asterisk yes indeed the official name of the emote commonly known as kappa <laughs> is surprise surprise kappa troy this is the end of our journey please say some goodbye words to the chat no need to ask a question. Oh, my dear chat, our quest has come to an end. Asterisk, soft farewell music, asterisk. It has been an absolute delight dancing through trivia with you all. Thank you for your amazing engagement, knowledge, and enthusiasm. Until we meet again in the realms of trivia, stay adventurous and always keep those curiosity flames burning oh. brightly. Goodbye, <laughs> chat. Asterisk waves goodbye dramatically. Oh, asterisk. Bye, Troy Four. Oh. <laughs> I have five minutes to beat the game and not owe 20 subs. I reckon I can do it. Okay, okay. No! <laughs> All right. Well, I thought that I could get this done in under two hours, but uh, I only got to part two. Very sad. Very sad. Now, as it turns out, my chat weren't quite as helpful as I hoped they would be. In fact, you might think that they might actively be trying to disrupt the run, but that, no, 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 they wouldn't do that. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to complete the game in under two hours, and I did have to pay my debt. It's a real shame, but I know that next time, my chat will do nothing but fuck me over even more.